This is the Overton Warwick Dale area in North Ayrshire. Now very tranquil, but once there was a village here, even a school, if I remember rightly. There were railway lines nearby, there were coal pits. Now we have the community woodland for Warwick Dale. Strange name for this part of the world, it's just a corruption of the old name Warwick's, so Warwick's Dale. What is left of this village, this community? Well, the few things that are here are like conversations in stone. Here's graffiti, initials of children, young people, whiling away their time, carving their initials into the stone. A few love hearts. No doubt the people could be identified by going back over the census and seeing who at one time dwelled here. In the days before computers and TV, there were a few things to do in the countryside once work had finished. There are a number of old bridges dotted around sites that used to have villages where there are stone carvings telling you something about the social history of what was here and the people who spent either their lives, lives or their early years here. One place that comes to mind the old Cunningham Head Station. The parapets above the old railroad bridge there have many carvings on them. Obviously a great place for the steam trains that used to go by for the young people to congregate and leave behind messages or simply just drawings. For instance, there's an aeroplane there cut into the stone, typically childlike one. There's an extensive railway network here at one time, carrying away the coal. Some of those lines ran into the old Cunningham Head Station. Cunningham Head Station was originally known as Stewarton Station, because it was built prior to the railway line that runs through Stewarton. For many years a carriage brought people back and forth from Stewarton to Stewarton Station at Cunningham Head. The date 1917 appears to be on this one, just below the heart.